So I'll be demonstrating how to use the CC40 with the hex bus modem, which is over here on the left, uh, hooked up with the hex bus cable. You want to turn the modem on first, uh, and then the computer. So I'm turn the computer on. To uh, run the MIMO processor, which is what I have on my multi cart here selected, you do run shift quote MP quote in all caps. That loads the MIMO processor. Alright, so that's loaded. Then to configure your modem, you have to go to the COM, which is function O. That gets you to the communications options page. You have to put in the device number, which for this modem is 70. Uh, the device for the RS-232 is different. Um, you have to look in the manual to do that. But for the modem, it's 70. Baud rate, 300 baud. That's the maximum baud rate of this modem. 8 bits, no parity. Don't check parity, duplex full, one stop bit. Pretty standard BBS settings. Once that's configured, you have to switch to communications mode. And you do that by hitting function comma. That makes it ready to communicate. Now it's sitting in terminal mode waiting for a connection. So I will dial with my other modem and then switch over to this one real quick. So let's see if we can get that to work. Looks like we're connected. Since this is not a smart modem, it doesn't say anything other than start sending data once it starts getting data. You can see I'm connected to the Hidden Reef BBS, which is the, one of the last TI-99 BBSs available. And I will hit login. You don't get to see my password. Why, I guess. There we go. So now we're logging into the BBS. There's always a delay once this loads from disk here, so he's still using old school floppies on his side, so. And I have ANSI turned on, which this doesn't support on my account on there, so you can see some ANSI codes. But other than that, it's sending data as fast as it can, and it goes into a buffer on the compact computer, which then you can up arrow and see what you missed. And I have to wait for it to commun finish communicating first. So, pretty unreadable at this point, because it's a lot of text in 80 columns. Oh, there, now we're at pressing E key. So I'm going to hit and log off here, and that's the end of my demonstration.